The speaker recently had the opportunity to test the new Canon R5 Mark II camera during a weekend event. While unable to share footage due to the camera being unreleased, he provides his initial thoughts and answers common questions about this highly anticipated model. The R5 Mark II boasts impressive video capabilities, including 8K 60fps and 4K up to 60fps in RAW, with both light and standard RAW options available. It incorporates improved XFAVC codecs from Canon's cinema line, offering 10-bit 4K and 8K options with a choice between long GOP and intra-frame compression. The camera supports 4K up to 120 FPS with certain codecs and provides numerous codec and frame rate combinations. A significant addition is the C-Log2 profile, matching the C70 camera and offering improved dynamic range compared to previous models. This feature allows for better integration with Canon's cinema line cameras and provides more flexibility in post-production. The camera also features a new tally lamp for confirming active recording, which is particularly useful in multi-camera setups or when the operator is not behind the camera. The inclusion of false color as an exposure tool is another welcome addition for videographers. This feature helps in quickly and accurately setting exposure, especially in challenging lighting conditions. It's a tool commonly found in higher-end cinema cameras, and its inclusion in the R5 Mark II bridges the gap between consumer and professional-grade equipment. The autofocus system has seen significant enhancements with faster and more accurate eye detection. The improved subject tracking can now maintain focus even when the subject turns away from the camera. The face, Jochen, subject priority modes, similar to those found in the R3, allow users to prioritize specific individuals in a scene. This is particularly useful in crowded environments or when filming events where a main subject needs to be consistently in focus. The ability to load and prioritize specific faces is a standout feature. Users can preload images of individuals and the camera will prioritize focusing on these people in a scene. This level of customization and intelligence in the autofocus system sets a new standard for mirrorless cameras. The R5 Mark II can record 4K 120fps with sound when not using the dedicated high frame rate mode. This feature allows for audio capture during slow motion shooting, which can be crucial for certain types of content creation. It provides flexibility in post-production, allowing editors to decide whether to use the slow motion footage with or without the accompanying audio. While similar in many aspects, key differences include the R5C's dedicated video mode with cinema camera software and potentially better heat management for long-form recording. The R5 Mark II offers a more streamlined hybrid experience but with shorter battery life compared to the R5C. The R5C might be better suited for professional video production where long recording times are necessary and the user is willing to deal with a more complex setup. The R5 Mark II, on the other hand, seems to be designed for users who need a more versatile tool that can quickly switch between high-quality stills and video. The R5 Mark II still experiences overheating issues, particularly in high-quality modes. It offers two power settings, standard and high, with the high setting significantly improving recording times. The 10-bit modes generally perform better in terms of heat management. Environmental factors impact performance, and Canon is introducing accessories like a battery grip with a built-in fan to help manage heat. In standard power mode, the camera overheated quickly when shooting 8K RAW and 4K RAW at 60 FPS. Switching to the high power mode significantly improved performance, allowing for longer recording times. However, the speaker notes that expecting a small mirrorless camera to record 8K RAW internally without heat issues is unrealistic. The overheating issue seems most pronounced when shooting in RAW formats. When using 10-bit codecs, the camera performs much better in terms of heat management. This suggests that for most users, shooting in 10-bit modes might be the best balance between quality and reliability.
Canon's approach to managing this issue includes the development of accessories like a battery grip with a built-in fan. This indicates that they are aware of the limitations and are working on solutions. The speaker expresses hope for future firmware updates that might improve the situation, but acknowledges that some level of overheating is likely unavoidable given the camera's capabilities and form factor. The R5 Mark II produces clean images up to ISO 12800, with noticeable noise increase beyond that point. While good, it doesn't match the low light capabilities of the Sony A7S III, partly due to its higher resolution 45 megapixel sensor. The high megapixel count, while excellent for detailed stills and providing flexibility for cropping in video, does impact the camera's low light performance. Users will need to balance their need for resolution with low light capabilities when choosing between different camera models. The camera supports continuous recording beyond 29 minutes in certain modes, addressing a limitation found in many other cameras. This feature is particularly useful for recording long events, interviews, or when using the camera for streaming purposes. Still photo capture during video is limited to 1080p recording. While this might be disappointing for some users, it's a compromise that allows for simultaneous video and photo capture without interrupting the video recording. High frequency shutter speed settings can help reduce line skipping artifacts. Fine tuning shutter speed, EAG, 1 at 134.4 at 60 FPS can significantly improve image quality. This level of fine control over shutter speed is a powerful tool for reducing common issues in digital video like rolling shutter and moire patterns. The addition of Cinema Line Codex is a significant improvement, with 10-bit 4, 2, 2 modes offering excellent quality without the storage demands of RAW. These codecs provide a good balance between image quality and file size, making them suitable for a wide range of professional applications. The ability to shoot in these high-quality codecs internally is a major selling point for the R5 Mark II, potentially eliminating the need for external recorders in many situations. The in-body image stabilization IBIS, system has some limitations. IBIS-only mode still exhibits some wobble effect, particularly noticeable at wider focal lengths. Combined IBIS and digital stabilization are available in 10-bit modes, but not in RAW. An enhanced stabilization mode provides smooth results, but with some crop factor. The speaker found that the enhanced stabilization mode produced results similar to smartphone level stabilization, which can be very useful for vlog style shooting. However, this comes at the cost of a slight crop to the image. Different stabilization options suit various shooting scenarios, providing users with flexibility based on their specific needs. New batteries are required for full functionality as older LPE6NH batteries severely limit video capabilities. When using old batteries, the camera restricts video options to 4K 29.97 FPS in long GOP format, significantly limiting the camera's capabilities. High speed CF Express. Type B cards are necessary for high quality recording modes, potentially requiring a significant additional investment. The speaker recommends cards with read speeds of at least 1700 M by Jukinj S for optimal performance. The Canon R5 Mark II appears to be a powerful hybrid camera with impressive video capabilities. It addresses many user requests from the original R5, particularly in terms of codecs and video options. However, potential buyers should be aware of the overheating limitations, the need for new accessories, and the learning curve associated with its numerous recording options. The speaker expresses excitement about the camera, but acknowledges that real-world testing will be crucial to determine if it lives up to expectations. He plans to create more in-depth content once he receives his own R5 Mark II. Overall, the Canon R5 Mark II seems to offer significant improvements for hybrid shooters, especially those already invested in the Canon ecosystem. Its combination of high-resolution stills, 
advanced video capabilities and improved autofocus make it a versatile tool for a wide range of photography and videography applications. However, its high-end features come with some caveats that users should carefully consider before making a purchase decision. The need for new accessories and the potential for overheating in certain modes may impact its suitability for some users. Despite these considerations, the R5 Mark II represents a significant step forward in the evolution of hybrid mirrorless cameras, blurring the line between professional cinema cameras and consumer-level devices.